Our first priorities are setting up base and securing that supply route. Hello everyone, this is Zephyr here, and welcome back to Monster Hunter World Iceborne on PC. Uh, to start off, I realized that I did not do any kind of um, uh, synopsis of our playthrough of Monster Hunter World. Um, and honestly, thinking about it, that should be a separate video, so I'm going to try and edit one of those together this weekend to throw up in the playlist between World and Iceborne. Uh, that way, anyone who is new and didn't watch the World playthrough can at least understand uh, what our character went through and just kind of see uh, a quick synopsis of World. And those who maybe watched my Let's Play but needed a refresher, it'll be there for you. And then anyone who just doesn't want to watch that can just jump right into Iceborne if they wish. So uh, I'm going to try and go ahead and take care of that. It kind of just dawned on me that I didn't do any kind of... Um, uh, synopsis of that stuff. So what we're going to do today is uh, the first thing is we need to go on an expedition to the Horfrost Reach to, um, as the handler said, secure a supply line uh, and I guess set up a base. So uh, we'll be doing that. But first we're going to talk to our nice resource center here and get our limited bounties. We managed rather well with the materials we forged here, but real construction must wait for the supply ship to arrive. We shall simply have to make do with what is on hand until then. Let's hear your report as soon as you've managed to thaw out. All right, so we know what most of these are, but of course there is one that we have not gotten far enough into the game for, so maybe we'll get to that today. Uh, let's take a look at... So this can be done in low rank or high rank. This can be done in low rank or high rank. This can be done in high rank or master rank. And then this and this are both going to be master rank. So hopefully this isn't too far in. And the things that I can do in low rank and high rank, I'll go ahead and do after uh, recording this video or maybe a video even after that. Um, because I will be trying to work towards getting our pennant for helping people in low rank and, uh, and high rank. So next, let's, uh, I wanna check, can we take our lo login voucher? I don't know if we have any things or not. Oh, we have a bunch. Do we really have this many optional quests already? Jeez. Oh, it's all master rank versions of monster old monsters. That's kind of nice. Okay. So this will upgrade our ghillie mantle. Well, first things first, let's go on this expedition uh, because it would be good to uh, get that supply route uh, taken care of. Uh, which means we also want to... Probably not use a rock steady, but use maybe. Nah, you know what? We'll keep rock steady for now. We'll keep the rock steady for the moment. Uh, let's go eat a meal. And we'll watch the little video for cooking for a couple of times at least in this series before we uh, start skipping it. Just because it's so wholesome. Honestly, this is my favorite looking hunter meal in all of Monster Hunter World, and uh, if I was going to recreate one of the meals, I think this would be the one. Oh, man, this game looks so good on PC. I also turned on the Direct 12 or the DirectX 12 API. I have no idea if that made anything look better, look worse, run better, run worse. I don't know. Uh, so we'll find out, I guess, as we play. Oh, look at that, we can see the Horfrost Reach now. So, let's go out here. Oh, we got a monster we've not seen before out there, so that's good to know, I guess. Mm, a lot of times don't seem to have improved. Our mission is to secure a route for the supply convoy. Yay. 
supply, uh, securing a route for the supply convoy. All right, we're master rank, so let's go ahead and use our mega demon drug and mega armor skin so that we don't end up getting slaughtered. Especially since we're still in high rank armor. Oh. She's going with us. I've actually gotten pretty good at climbing roots and rocks out here. Still can't hold a candle to the tracker, though. She's a free climbing pro. It's amazing that she was the first one to ever scale the Great Ravine. All right, I didn't realize she was going to come with us, but the, yeah, so we, as you can see, we can get further into the Horfrost Reach now. I bet I know what our haven't seen any like these before. They lead this way. I bet I know what our our last limited bounty is. Wait. Why I can't see where those went. I thought once before that maybe it's because Whoa, I have my screen bright. A hot spring. But it's not because I have my screen bright, because even if I lower the the uh, the brightness, things still Looks stay bright. They're I just darker bright. Get out. So if you go in a hot spring and you wait a moment, you do get a buff. Uh, you'll get a temporary cold resistance, and then you also get, I, I think what it does is it increases how quickly you recover red health. And it stacks it like with the, path is blocked. the immunizer. Could be the work of whatever's left these tracks. It's completely blocked. What did this? to take on one of my least favorite new monsters. Come here, Bombero. Ugh. Luckily, I have experience fighting it, so it should go smoother than my first time on PS4. Sorry, I didn't take damage either, so it's alright. What? 
I don't understand why that didn't work. Oh, a turf war. Beototus is here. Okay. Oh, I love that EI Slash. I'm so glad that we have it now. It was so difficult playing on PC when I was used to the EI Slash on PS4. Oh, really, Beototus? Really? Come on now. Alright, Bombro's leaving the area, so we'll just follow it and ignore Beototus. I also have to remember that I need to actually gather some of this stuff, because I haven't yet on PC, because it's new. It does run so much smoother, though, on PC. When I was switching back to PS4, whenever I was either recording or just finishing stuff up on PC before Iceborne, PS4 being at 30 frames a second compared to my, well, what used to be 60 and now my uncapped frame rate on PC, it was brutal. It, it just felt so sluggish. It feels so See good to just... Slam it, into the wall to really it, uh, it just feels so much smoother and so much cleaner. Not to mention the high... Uh, High definition graphics, or whatever they called it, the uh, high definition texture pack. Yeah, as you can see, we get hit hard because we're still wearing high rank armor against a master rank monster. This is why I don't like Bombaro. Look how wide that tree trunk is. It is a pain in the butt to dodge if you are not already dodging. When he does boulders, it's not so bad. I can deal with those. Oh shoot, I should've known better. You're also gonna see that these quests are gonna take a lot longer. Especially since we don't have Master Rank weapons yet. and get some slinger ammo because it's unenraged again. Oh, I screwed that up. It's not enraged anymore, so we can, uh... Oh, also you'll notice I remembered to change our button icons, and I'm so happy I did. Uh, but it's not enraged, so we can... Oh, shoot. We can try and knock it into a wall now. There it is. Okay, I still hit. Awesome. I think they changed that a little bit. Um, the Helm Splitter, I've noticed, has a... Uh, you're more likely to actually hit now uh, when they are standing up. Because the worst thing before was that they'd stand up and just, like, you barely miss with your Helm Splitter. I feel like they increased the hitbox so that you actually don't do that as often. Obviously, if you completely miss, you know, you're going to miss. But I do feel like they made it so if you... It looks like you, you know, maybe just barely tapped it. You still get the hit now. All right. That up. Keep chasing it.
one of the positives of the Clutch Claw, I know I've mentioned how I don't really like it, um, if, as long as the monster's not enraged, you can keep doing the Clutch Claw, so uh, if you can keep it from enraging, you can do multiple smashes into the wall. They do good damage. Screw that up. Oh, nope, still hit the wall. Awesome. This is going pretty smooth. Tails off, so we should go after the horns now. So I don't know if I ever mentioned this before, but there are some monsters that it's tough to tell when they're enraged. They don't have an easy tell. Oh, now I got hit by the tree. Uh, one of the ways to tell is to look at the map. If the monster has a red eyeball icon, they're enraged. Bonbro is easy to tell because it's got that little nose part that goes up uh, when it's enraged. But for monsters that don't have those easy tells, uh, just pay attention to the, the eye icon on the map. And as you can see, roaring is still a major problem. Oh, our Bombro is weak, so I'll probably capture it to get that out of the way. I still need to capture a Veototus, don't I? Oh, shoot. Okay, okay, good. It's attacking Shadow. Shadow is best cat. Keeping us safe. Let's go capture us a Bombro. Let's take a quick look around before we head back to Celiana because we do have uh, more of the map open to us. So we can see if there's anything nice we can find. I do wonder. Oops, not that button. I forgot I'm. Because I'm used. Like, have the PS4 buttons now, I keep forgetting I'm on uh, PC. I wanted to see if we had um, uh, upsurge of anything. So this is actually a warmer area of the map. Uh, I believe if you come down here, you don't have to have a hot drink active. Uh, don't quote me on that though, because I'm not completely certain, but I think that is the case. Um, there's fish and stuff down here. Which will probably matter later. Now there was a monster here that we've never seen before, supposedly. Possibly we couldn't get up to the area where they're at, but supposedly it's a thing. Really, I'm just looking for ore and bones. I might have passed some bones because I forgot I was looking for bones until that moment where I said I was looking for bones. So there's some cool little areas in the, the Horfrost Reach. It's pretty nice. And I'm glad that so far my PC seems to run with no issues. I know there are a lot of people who've been complaining online that they this game is giving them lots of uh, problems, but I have a very, very beastly gaming rig, and apparently I'm glad I do because I'm not running into problems. My game is running buttery smooth. I have a streamer I like to watch who he literally can't load up the game because it completely destroys his CPU. And I feel bad because he really wanted to play the game. I was going to help him through some of it, but I don't know when he'll be able to play it now because his PC can't handle it. I never did find out if there's a way to get the fish that are under the ice here because you see them, but I don't know if you can actually uh, catch them in any way. Love it. 
I love this area. I do need to clean off my monitor though. I'm not it. The, the white. Oh. Oh, okay. So here's the monster that uh, we hadn't seen yet that now we've seen. And I, it's kind of a spoiler, I guess. But you know what? We ran into it naturally, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, there's the berry off. So if you didn't know, they put the berry off in this game. I'm sure you probably knew. I don't even remember if I mentioned it when uh, we were. I was talking about Iceborne news um, in my world videos. But uh, yeah, berry off is in the game. I find it kind of funny. Um... Oh, crap. Oh, that is not what I wanted to have happen. Well, we'll we're going to leave the expedition in a moment anyway, so it's not a big deal. I don't know why he suddenly decided he wanted to fight us, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so normally we wouldn't see him yet, but he just, I guess, happened to be in the expedition, and uh, we found him. So there you go. A little early look at Baryoth. We should be safe right here. And we'll leave the expedition. We'll check out the rest of the areas later. I just figured we'd do a little uh, wandering around. Man, our character's face in the cold. I don't know if it's the hood or the cold or what, but uh, they did a good job because it actually looks like our character is in a cold area. His skin looks a little more pale with uh, rosy cheeks and stuff. Heading back. Such epic music for heading back. Alright, so we got some Bombero stuff, so that's cool. Master rank level three. Master rank safari is now available. Awesome. We also got a new canteen drink because of getting the Snow Peak Ice Blooms. Uh, new decor is available in our room. Cool, cool, cool. And obviously a new cutscene. Thanks to the hunter's efforts, the convoy route through the Horfrost Reach was secured and with it... Oh. some rough work out there. How'd everything go? Splendid, as usual. Now we can begin our investigation. Yep. Just think, this freezing cold place was waiting out here for us all this time. Who knows what secrets this land has in store for us. Whether we like it or not, we're going to find out. <laughs> well then, I'm heading back to Estera. Seriously? Someone needs to stay and look over Astera. So I was thinking... This time... You can take the lead. Me? <laughs> Come on. It's not for me. As long as you're here, everything will be fine, right? Besides, ordering someone to be a commander doesn't make them one. <laughs> okay. Maybe so, but this place needs a strong leader to guide it. They'll need you here to guide them. Yes, sir. We'll need you too. Let's get started. We've got a full house here in Celiana now, and our Legiana investigation has gone into full swing. So, before we get ahead of ourselves, how about we hear from our newest members? First up, provisions. Our new deputy here will take care of the stockpile in Celiana. Whatever you need, I got it by the pile. And for all your melding needs, Scram here has got you covered. 
Swing by any time to see what's stirring. Next, the captain's best sailor here will be managing shipment requests for the Argosy and harvest requests for botanical research. You come see me anytime. And last but not least, our chef. We got the best of the best for our canteen in Celiana. As some of you may know, she's the Astera chef's former mentor, and she's come out of retirement to help us out. My special grottens and stool will keep your bellies full and bodies warm, and you better eat it all. I'll take charge of the resource center as usual. You can still count on me for all your hunter gear. And what do you know? The chief's made it out here too. Don't look so surprised. You know that I'd go anywhere in the noble pursuit of knowledge. And finally, there's me. I'll be keeping everyone safe and sound. And I'll relax while I'm on watch. Well, now that the niceties are out of the way, back to our objective. We've got to figure out why the Legiana have migrated here. And to do that, we've got to find those Legiana. First, I'd like the field team to conduct an expedition into what we're now calling the Hoarfrost Reach. You might find a clue about the Legiana crossing by following any tracks that they may have left out there. But don't forget that this is still uncharted territory. Don't let me catch you being reckless out there. Yes, sir. We'll get started on the expedition right away. I'll be going, too. There's quite a lot I need to see for myself out there. All right, then. Just don't skimp on sending me regular status updates. I guess that about wraps things up, then. Well, let's get to it, I guess. Let's head out to the Hoarfrost Reach and try to pick up those Legiana's trail. Right, so that little title card I didn't get to read, you'll have to pause the video and read it. Uh, apparently the game does load a lot faster than I can read, so that's nice. Uh, what bounty did... Oh yeah, the mining, that's right. Okay. So we have more people to talk to, and I believe all of Celiana should be set up now, so that'll be good. Hey, that, that reminds me. Have you seen the Tech Chief's Steam Cutku contraption? Apparently he's finished it. So the old man asked me to help out with it, and I'm like, for sure, I'm there. You fill it up with fuel and steam starts billowing up like whoosh, and then you throw the switch all ka-chunk. Anyway, go have a look sometime. It's over by Celiana's gathering hub. Here, I'll give you a cut of the fuel the old coot gave me. Alright, so coal. Probably could have read that. I'll read it once it disappears. I probably could still finish. Okay, there we go. All right, so Dragon Vein Coal, special coal that contains the Earth's energy within, prized as fuel at the Commission's new base. So that's a new little mini game thing. This is actually super useful, but a bit tedious. You're here. Welcome to the Steamworks. All of Celiana is powered by the steam generated here. So, what what powers the Steamworks? That'd be you hunters. Drop by between hunts and lend a hand, eh? I'll see you're rewarded for the help. Gotta do your chores to earn that allowance, eh? Alright, power generated by the Steamworks fuels all of Celiana. Industrious hunters can earn items by helping the tech chief with its operations, so be sure to drop by between hunts. Producing steam power requires fuel, which is generated by completing quests or by selecting add fuel to convert fuel items or unwanted ores into usable fuel. Select help the Steamworks, then press R2 to begin. Generate steam power by correctly guessing a hidden sequence of X, square, and triangle that charges with each turn. Every match will build steam power until the large meter is full. Keep building steam until you send the steamworks into overdrive. Sending the steamworks into over overdrive will earn you a special item rewards. You can stop uh, operating the steamworks anytime you want by pressing circle. A message will sometimes appear at the top of the screen to notify you that the steamworks are primed for a bonus. Get the sequence of your next guess completely right to light all three indicators and kick the machinery uh, into top gear for a huge burst of steam. Letting the cat out of the bag, the steamworks felines will tip you off to the correct sequence, so keep a close eye on those kitties and the flash of the buttons. Full steam ahead. Guessing the entire sequence correctly will yield a much bigger quantity of steam than usual. 
Right, so it's a little mini game. Like I said, it's a bit tedious, but the nice thing is you get a ridiculous amount of consumable items out of it. So it's a nice addition that makes it so you don't have to farm potions, mega potions, max potions, um, like you, you, just usual consumables that you use a lot of. You will get an overabundance of them from this. However, it is really boring to do because the first couple of times it's kind of fun and then after that you're literally just holding a button um and the main problem is that there's no tell like it's literally random so you don't know or have any way to know what buttons to press you're just guessing and hoping so honestly the best way that people have found is to literally just do square i think it's square x triangle or whatever uh, to go from left to right and just keep doing it because the odds of that being the sequence is the same every time because it's random and sometimes it's the same thing over and over and since there's no way to tell what it is thinking about it and trying to guess won't do you any good because there's no method to the madness uh, so let's convert um all right, so you can see on the left, these are the things you can get for doing different things. So if you get all of, so if you don't get all three right, you'll get a gray reward, which could be a mega nutrients, a mega potion, a trank bomb, or an armor sphere plus. If you get all three correct, you get it. You can get a yellow bonus, which is a steam ticket, a mega mega barrel bomb, a dust of life, a max potion, or an advanced armor sphere. And then sometimes the boxes will be red, and if you get all three correct, you can get a red reward, which is a Celestial Wyverian print, a Gourmet Voucher, a Heavy Armor Sphere, a Hard Armor Sphere, or a Silver Egg. The problem is, the red doesn't happen very often. When it does, you generally don't get it correct, and when you do get it correct, you almost never get something good. The Celestial Wyverian print is an extremely low chance. I have been playing Iceborne on PS4 since it came out, and I've only ever gotten a Celestial Wyverian print from a red bonus once. Now, you'll also see there's an overdrive bonus. This resets, every time you complete it, it resets, but once a week, the first overdrive bonus will be a Celestial Wyverian print, or during um, special events, it'll be something else, but we'll go into that when that happens. But basically, it's an easy way to get a Celestial, a Celestial Wyverian print each week. Those Celestial Wyverian prints are the Master Rank version of the Gold Wyverian prints. You can trade them in for uh, the rarest drop that monsters have. Um, we're not going to do this yet because we don't have enough fuel to succeed at it because uh, it takes a while. You have to fill the bar three times, but I just wanted to kind of show it off. Um, we should be able to do it during the next video, so uh, for now, that's that. Good news, Honda. It's taken some doing, but we're finally up and running here. Good thing, too. I was getting tired of just sitting around. Just to fill you in, I'll be your, co uh, your connect for all your Argosy needs. I'm also... Uh, I'm also your go-to guy for the botanical research. Hey, oh, and heads up, boss man back in Astero says he's got a spunky task for a spunky hunter, whatever the heck that means. Says it'll expand the harvest box. Just take care of the quest greetings from the tundra and he'll get you squared. I'll see you get whatever it is you need. Just come and see me and I'll get you taken care of. Alright, so that's a pretty easy uh, quest there. Also, I guess I should have mentioned, the reason we got that uh, canteen item is because I gathered from the frozen foliage... Uh, the, so the two special plants in the Horfrost Reach are the Butterburrs and the Frozen Foliage. So that's a pretty easy quest we can do later. I'm not worried about it at the moment because we still have to... Not uh, Hunter's Notes, that's not what I wanted. We still have to figure out what that question mark is. Uh, and I only have basically two days and I probably won't have a ton of time to record other than today. So uh, I want to get that figured out today. Alright, so Elder Melder... Oh. Ah, got some good news. It took a while, but thankfully the melding pot is here and we're ready to fling into action. I'm finally set up and ready to meld. Like you kids say, come yell at your girl. <laughs> oh, and, and you can do some interesting new things with streamstones now. Give that a look too while you're at it. Need something melded? Okay, so there's now a new first Vi Vivarian, uh ritual, which is the Strange Stream Plus. This allows you to use your stream stones, which are now worthless because they're not used to augment Master Rank equipment. So you can use them to make uh, warped face stones. So that's the red one. So you, it, it gives you chances at the best uh, types of face stones and decorations from high rank. So that's kind of nice. 
Um, the more of these you have, the better. And obviously, if you still do some high rank tempered monsters, you might get more. And they can be used for getting decorations. So, uh, high rank decorations are still useful. Um, but you get them from doing master rank quests too. So, this is just kind of to make all these stream stones you worked your butt off to get useful because when you unaugment equipment from upgrading it into master rank you get your stream stones back so it's just a purpose for them it was nice of capcom to put that in but they didn't really have to all right here's the tracker hey ah there you are already i'm headed out into the reach too got something i'm hunting for there's no guarantee i'll find it but i'd like to give it a uh, shot by the way Oh, while I've got you, here's a little gift from me. You could do worse than bringing a few of these along. Well, see you on the other side. All right, she gave me some hot drinks. Not super useful. We've got those already. Um, anyone else to talk to? It doesn't look like it, though. We should go check our Tail Raider Safari. I think we sent them out. So uh, we might not have them back yet. It's a relief to see you safe, Meowster. Yeah, they're already out there. Uh, okay, so we don't have to worry about that for now. But we can do Master Rank ones now, which is great. So we will eat... Oh, wait. Actually, I meant to check with him. Whether it's Argosy's imports or cultivate and something at the Botanical Research, just come see me and we'll set you up. Okay, what'll it be? Oh, okay, yeah. We're nowhere near needing to do that yet. But, you know what? I'm going to fertilize just so that they're all at 9 and they're even. So I don't forget. Alright, what do we got here? I have no idea what we have to do next in the Horfrost Reach. I shouldn't say I have no idea. I have an idea, but I don't know if I'm right. Oh, that food looks so good. I just ate dinner and it's still making me hungry. I think I'm gonna have to recreate this at some point. It just looks so good. So we need to go out to the Horfrost Reach. An unseen monster again. So yeah, I think I know exactly what's about to happen. Now notice we can't pick any camps yet. It's because we're literally going through little story stuff. Well, look who it is. You're here. I didn't know you were already out here. Guess I got a little antsy. Let me guess. Chasing after those Legiana. Yep. We're about to hit the trail now. Well, I got my own investigation to work on. We can compare notes later. I'll leave those Legiana to you two. I should get moving. I'm heading this way. See you around. Okay, let's find those leggy on the tracks, pard. All right. Really should be picking up the slinger ammo as I find it. Slinger ammo is kind of important in Iceborne. Like you always want to have some, just because of the clutch block. Like the they look like they're heading this way. Hmm. But they're question mark question mark question More marks. Tracks. So are they Go really like Yana? Because that doesn't seem right. If they were like Yana, we'd know what they were. 
But she's still saying they're Legiana. Getting past here. Let's keep looking and see what we can find. Hmm. Let's see what's up this way. Man, she's not waiting for me. She has no patience. Wow, it really opens up here. Let's go have a look. Did you see, did something just move up there? Wyvarian? Let's ask about the Legiana. How rare. One does not get many visitors. You are friends of the Lone Star? Hmm, you seek something. I see. It is not here. Search below. They know it's sent. Follow them. Thank you so much. But where exactly is below? Look, the scout flies are headed down into that cavern. So scout flies must be they. Catch up a little bit here. Actually, is there any mining spots? What do you suppose the tracker is looking into? It seemed like she had her own reasons for coming out here. Maybe she somehow already knew the hinterlands existed. Tracker did know the hinterlands existed. It's kind of crappy of her to have kept it from everyone. See what end up here? Yeah, we found some tracks and followed the scout flies. Oh, if that's the case, then we're both heading the same way. You sure about that? I mean, other than that opening, I can't find any other place to go. I'd like to have a look, but. <laughs> Guess it'll have to wait. <laughs> Always ready. You, it's me. Okay. So this cutscene is proof that uh, 
Capcom understood that people didn't like the way that the handler and stuff acted in Base World because now she's listening to reason and they're making the tracker and stuff. One, know that your character's a badass, but two, know that they can't fight these things and need to just get out of the way. So, say hello to Viper Toby Kadachi. This thing is super cool, but I'm terrible at fighting it. Uh, it can cause toxic as well as paralyze, and it can cause toxic not just by hitting you, but also by shooting its feathers at you. It's awesome. It's And it also is the first monster that does exactly what I was telling you about before, which is making you have to use your camera a lot, because it likes to uh, kind of flank you. Yeah, 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 I know. I wish I would have brought normal antidotes. So it's good. Alright, let's throw up Temporal just to kind of help. Get in there. Right now we're having trouble just getting into attack. I don't fight it very often because uh, I don't need anything from it, so uh, I'm, I never really got decent at fighting it. Oh god, I'm gonna burn through my Temporal. But I do think the monster itself is very cool, even if I don't fight it often. Oh. Well, that's butts. Thank goodness for uh, still having health regen on my weapon. Oh, shit. Did that early. Oh, that is just the dumbest thing that's ever happened. Why did that? Ugh. Okay. I should have brought my immunity mantle, but honestly, I did not. I wasn't certain this is what I'd be fighting. Yes, but I wasn't certain. Oh, that snow is stupid. Like I said, this this fight's really cool. I actually really enjoy this monster. I just am not good at it. I also love that the wolf will freaking attack monsters that fall down. They're like, oh, it's down now. We, we can actually try and do something here. Ooh, no, no, no. I want to try and knock it into a wall, but it's not staying close enough to the wall. No, what? Why? Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. Ha! Helps if you hit the right button. Uh, it's probably not close enough to the wall. Oh, it is close enough to the wall. Sweet. It's still gonna run. All right, it's fine. Should actually collect all these because we're gonna need the tracks eventually. Sharpen up. Probably gonna need a hot drink here soon too. You know what, I'll just pop one just to be safe. And if I see some antidote herbs, I'll make sure to grab them because we're probably going to need normal antidotes. He poisons us a lot. Oh, that's what the other hidden monster is. So as you can see, we're already running into a lot of new monsters. Uh, this is the Fulgur Anginath. It's an Anginath, but worse.
but Iceborne added a ton of new monsters. A lot of them are subspecies, but honestly, who cares? The subspecies are nothing like their normal counterparts. I'm sure you've already seen Viper Toby Kadachi acts significantly different from normal Toby Kadachi. Uh, and that's one of the things why I don't mind variants and uh, subspecies, because they just are... Uh, they're, they're always just, they're different. They're not the same thing. They might as well be another monster. They just use, a, you know, the same uh, monster design. And, you know, in even in the real world, there are different types of the same things. So it makes sense. Uh, but I, I, you know, like I said, I don't mind that they added a bunch of subspecies and variant monsters because... I just think it makes sense, and I think they're all pretty cool. Uh, I wish I had some slinger ammo on me, because I could knock into a wall, but I'll have some now. Don't worry, they're not, like I said, they, they, while there are a lot of variants and subspecies, there's also a lot of just new monsters, so uh, there, there's a lot to enjoy with this game. I can't wait to get to all of it, because it's awesome. This game is so good. I mean, we've already seen... Uh, the Bombaro and the Beototus, which are brand new monsters. The Baryop, which is a new monster. And then we've seen the Fulgur Engine and the Viper Toby Kadachi as our subspecies so far. Oh crap. See what I mean by it likes to uh, flank you? It's awesome. up and we're gonna cap it because again I haven't capped one before so I might as well oh we got some new endemic life let's pick that up while we're right here crowned prawn bioluminescent bug found in dark caves its diet consists of algae and protozoans living in ice melts cool enough And look at that, that completed our uh, question mark, question mark, question mark, limited bounty. So it was Viper Toby Kadachi we had to get to, which we have now completed, and now we just have to complete the expedition. And I hate freaking Vespoids now because they will spam their stupid paralyze move in Master Rank. It's super annoying. All right, dragon bone artifact. Very rare bone found in bone piles. Evidence of an unknown elder dragon that once ruled the land. All right, let's end this expedition. So we're gonna end the video here shortly. Well, shall we? Look 
like a ship from any of our fleets. No, this is older than the Commission itself. Take a look at this shard. Never seen anything like it. This handwriting. You've seen it? It was long before the first fleet was dispatched. There was an explorer searching for the new world. <laughs> I hoped our paths would cross again. Let's see. Monsters displaying disturbing behavior. Song. Song? I found a shard. I'm not sure how it was created. I need to check. Sorry, but I can't read the rest. The Legion is sudden migration. In Song. These notes we found. It's happening right now. So this thing might be the key to this whole mystery. <sighs> Yo! <laughs> We've been looking all over for you guys. Whoa, look at this old relic. Um, can you focus on your job, huh? please? Sorry. Astera is calling back its hunters. We need to return ASAP. What? Uh, my grandfathers. I think they're the same. Wait. You're telling me he brought this from the New World? Mm. I thought I was getting closer to the truth. Then we'll get there together. You want to know what really happened, right? Same as me. We won't let this get away from us. Thanks. But... Kid, you either come with me or go home. Don't second-guess yourself. There's no time. Hey, don't worry. I can fill in for you and help while you're gone. For the time being, allow me to be your handler. Sound good? An offer from the best handler in Astera? <laughs> You'd be crazy to refuse. Everyone, thank you so much. <laughs> Glad to have a partner. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, looks like we're done here. Let's go. Good luck. <laughs> This won't be for nothing. Partner, take care. <laughs> this is literally everyone's favorite part of the game. <laughs> because so many people don't like the handler and always wanted the serious handler as their handler, we now have a short period of time where we're going to have the serious handler as our handler. So a lot of people really enjoyed that. It's something that people wanted, but it's only temporary. It's not permanent and you can't switch her in whenever you want. There's no outfit to make your handler the serious handler. It's just a short period of time where we have the serious handler uh, doing our handling business. Uh, so time to get serious. We got that uh, achievement on our guild card. Earn the right to take on two star master rank assignments. So yeah, there were a lot of people who rejoiced at this part, but unfortunately it doesn't last for very long, but it's still pretty cool. And there are some things that are different while she's your handler, namely a couple Thanks of cutscenes. Thanks for coming on such short notice. Now, as for why I called you back. Hold on. Where's the little gourmand? Still finishing off a few steaks at the canteen? Actually, she's engaged in another investigation at the moment. I'll be supporting her partner for the time being. I see. Very well, then. Let me fill you in. There have been reports of unidentified subspecies in the Wildspire Waste and the Coral Highlands. One seems to be a subspecies of Paoluma, and the other of Puke Puke. The Analytics Division theorizes that the sudden appearance of new subspecies may be linked to whatever caused the Legiana Crossing. Their theory is that some sort of change in the environment has upset their normal behavior. Therefore, we need to take these developments seriously. Seeing as how you'd witnessed the altered Legiana firsthand, 
I thought you'd be perfect. Understood. Then my temporary partner here will hunt the subspecies, while I provide support and compile detailed reports for analytics. Very well. I'm counting on you two. You've been tasked with investigating the new subspecies. I look forward to working with you, a uh, temporary partner. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there's a few things that'll be different while she is our uh, handler. Um, I'm gonna let this video run a little long because I wanna do a few things here. Um, first off, not you. Uh, let's talk to the people that have exclamation points. Hello. Yes, hello, Hunter. No, you're not losing your mind. Tis not books talking, but I, the Vice Chief Ecologist. Yes, the director said there was no distance he wouldn't travel in pursuit of knowledge. No. So he up and climbed aboard the airship. Which is why it is I that stands, sits, before you now. Yes, yes. I'm counting on you. Still, that needn't change much for you, no. I'll hear your report, same as ever. Yes. Yes, let us look at your progress. So, Bonbaro. Um... Oh, what was the other thing? Oh, also, it's interesting to know that the, um... You also notice the NPC here is different. That's running the kind of lift. Uh, and the lady's gone, because they're both over in Celiana. Uh, but it's interesting that the handler's grandfather's been to the New World, apparently, because I guess... I, I don't remember World saying this, so it could have just been an assumption of mine, but I thought the Commission was the first group to come to the New World, and apparently they were not. I would assume then now that they came to the New World after the Handler's grandfather came back from the New World and said, Hey, we found a new landmass. Please go check it out. Hey there. I hear you found yourself a cold, cold place. I have an idea for a pair of decorations that might prove useful to you, but I need a bit of help from the First Wyverians to craft them. Sadly, the commander won't give me permission to head into the field to find one. He says it isn't safe, and I don't doubt it. Oh, yes. Is there any chance I could ask for your help? I've submitted a pair of quests that should secure the area for now. They're called The Great Jagras Returns and Jura in My Way. <laughs> I'll be able to make those decorations just as soon as I've had a chat with the first Wyverian, and I'll happily give the results to you. Alright, so two new quests added. Uh, one's a Jura Totus and one's a Great Jagras. Just Master Rank versions. All right, one more person to talk to here, then we'll head back to Celiana, and I'm gonna try and do the Steamworks. Uh, did we finish? No, we've done zero quests in the Horfrost Reach. The expeditions didn't count. That is unfortunate, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal. The way I wanted to do it was doing low rank, but I think I know a better way to do it. Or at least some of it. So I guess we will end the video after I talk to this person, and then I'll do the next video to complete those. How are you holding up? I don't believe we've had the pleasure. The fleet master left me in charge of the place while he's out west. I'll keep crafting long as I've got lift life left in me. Even after, they'll have to pry me hammer from me cold dead hands. <laughs> Sorry, was that weirdly dark? New job and all. I'm a wee bit nervous. Haha. <laughs> so, need something made? Alright. Um... So let's head to Celiana, and then we'll end the video. Oh, we got more people to talk to. Investigating the new subspecies. I look forward to working with you, a temporary partner. Oh, Hunter, there's a decoration that I want to meld, but before I begin, I need you to rend me a hand, as you kids say. See, I'd like to consult with the first Wyverian about the details. However, helpless old lady, blah, 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 you know how it goes. The commander won't let me go out to the big scary forest unless I have a hunter escort. Do you think you can escort me? I've put together a pair of quests that should clear out any dangers. A queen at heart and bugger off bugs. Thanks in advance. If you complete those quests, I can book you up, as you kids say, with a decoration once it's made. I can't tell if this is supposed to be making fun of kids or making fun of old people or both. Like, those aren't sayings that anyone says, and then on top of that, she's screwing them up. Alright. So both of those are good. Getting us some more master rank options for armor and stuff, which will be nice. Uh, let's go check what we've got from the canteen. I'm sure it's a canteen quest. Oh yeah, you can see our new handler is sitting here different from our old handler because she's not just scarfing down food, she's actually working. Oh, I also thought it was funny that she uh, immediately reprimanded the uh, excitable A-lister when he's like, oh, look at this artifact, and she's just like, do your job. <laughs> it's just like, jeez, how often does he, like, 
screw around that just looking at an old boat means she has to yell at him. My goodness, this base is growing, and with more people, we're going to need more ingredients for Mew dishes. If you can help me out with this quest I put together called Trapping the Tree Trasher, we can keep Tails warm and tummies full. And don't you go off on an empty stomach, Meow, or you're going to have to answer this here ladle upside your head, helmet or not. Capture a Bombaro. Hello there, Hunter, just the person I was hoping to talk to. Based on research of the Horfrost Reach, we've discovered a new tribe of Linians living there that call themselves the Boa Boa. I would love to establish communication with them, but unfortunately these rickety old Jones don't move so well out in the cold. However, since they're, hunting, since they're a hunting tribe, I've surmised that we may be able to establish contact with them by showing off our hunting skills. By my shriveled pectorals, I'm afraid I'm not much of a fighter, let alone a hunter, which is where you come into the picture. As soon as you're ready, conduct an expedition to the Horfrost Reach and show the Boa Boa what you're capable of. We might be able to establish communication if you successfully hunt a large monster. Please, Hunter, I'm counting on you. Alright, go on an expedition to the Horfrost Reach and hunt one large monster. Do that later, because I need to actually do Horfrost Reach quests. Who else did we need to talk to? Uh, okay, over in the smithy area. I just want to finish talking to them, then I'll end the video. I know this is running long, I'm sorry. I figured it would make more sense to do it in this video than start off the next video with talking to people. Fiver. Oi, Fiverr, the lad over at the research base bought, uh, brought me something. Yeah, I know what you're thinking about him, but hear me out. He drafted up one of the oddest designs I've seen. Said he got inspired by the Horfrost Reach. Odd and that lad are right, a right fit, but despite that, it shows promise. However, it's still missing something. And the spark he needs to finish the job will come from this new quest he's come Stay up tough. with. Boa Boa Constrictor, he said the name was. He's a good lad, give him a hand, would you? Defeat 14 Boa Boa. That seems mean. We just learned that they're cats. Or Linians, at least. Well, Hunter, I done did it. I ran out of mantles to cram things in, but I got to thinking and then I was like, aha, cleanser boosters. Take care of the quest Poison and Paralysis Pinch and we can get to work. Whenever, uh, whenever you got the time there, Hunter, I know everyone's not itching to get cramming, but you'd sure scratch mine if you helped me out. Capture a Viper Toby Kadachi. All right, so that's gonna be the end of this video. Uh, the next video, I believe we have an event quest we can do, which will help with limited bounties. Um, and then we'll just see what we can complete in optional quests to try and finish up limited bounties uh, for this week. So thank you so much for watching. I'm excited to continue into Iceborne. This game looks beautiful on PC. It runs beautiful on PC. And there might be some more graphical changes I can make to make it even prettier. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I won't be playing around with those settings today, but um, maybe this weekend when I have more time, I'll uh, poke around and see what I can do to make the, the graphics the best possible possible because my PC should be able to run at that. However, that is all I have for you today, so thank you so much for watching, and as usual, this is Zephyr. Oh wait, ha ha ha, I haven't done this in so long. Uh, please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, you could also subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell icon to get email updates when I upload new videos, and of course, leave any comments or suggestions in the area below the video, which I totally understand if you rip me a new one for forgetting to do all that. However, that is all I have for you today now, so thank you so much for watching, and as usual, this is Zephyr, signing out.